Hey everybody, this time around the question is, who am I? Now, this is a big question and for a lot of people, it's the question. But the thing about it, an interesting thing for you and for me is that you already know the answer to the question of who am I? You know it in your quiet moments, you know it when you can think about what you're yearning for and what you're hungry about. Even the things that you don't like can tell you a little bit about who you are. So there's a lot of ways we can go with this conversation. I mean, I can quote the Bible to you all day long. I mean, that whole thing about made in the image and after the likeness of God, all of the stuff about being the salt of the earth and the light of the world and all of that. But over and over again, alongside those passages about what you're made of and whose child you are and how amazing your potential is, right alongside all of those kinds of quotes, and the Bible is loaded with them, the wisdom literature of humanity is loaded with them. Right alongside each and every one of those quotes is the admonition that you're amazing on the inside, in potential, in your very nature. Now go do something about it. That's the thing. It's not enough to know who you are. The question is, what are you going to do about it? So I can quote the uh, all of the different places where you can see how amazing you are. You can also go about this the other way by going... I can figure out who I am by thinking about what doesn't respond to me. You know, what I don't like, what I don't respond to, you know, those kinds of things. What don't you like? What bothers you? Does your life bother you? Are you bothered by drama and lies and hypocrisy? Are you bothered by things that hurt? Well, think about that for a minute. If you were made for misery, then misery would feel okay to you. The fact that stuff that hurts hurts says a little bit about what you're made out of. That's interesting. You can learn a little bit about who you are by the things that you're not. You know what I mean? So think about the things that bother you. Ask yourself why they bother you and you can start to learn a little bit about who you are. But the real payoff is when you go on the positive end of this. You can learn about who you are by thinking about what makes your heart Sing. What are the things that inspire you, that move you, that cause you to get up and dance, to laugh out loud, to cry with joy and inspiration? What are the things that really move you? The reason that they move you is not because they're different than you. The reason that you're moved by something beautiful is that you have something in common with it. Think about that. Think about the most beautiful, awesome, amazing experience you've ever had. And realize with me right now that the reason that you felt that is because you're connected to it. You and that amazing, awesome, whatever it is, have something incredible in common. That's who you are. You are awesome and you know it because you're moved by the awesome. Your job is to live in that awe and to share it with somebody else. Who are you? Well, the details you're going to have to work out. But in broad strokes, you're amazing. You're wonderful, and you have got it. Whatever it is you need to do, you have what you need. Maybe not to finish your journey, but you know what? Nothing ever ends. You have what you need to start. So let's get moving together. Let me know how it goes for you. You know how to get a hold of me. You can reach me on my website, waypastok.com. You can send a tweet or an Instagram message with the hashtag uh, AskDieter. I'm watching those kinds of things. There's lots of ways to get a hold of me. I want to remind you to pick up a copy of my book, Meaning Fulfilled. You can find out more about that by looking for me on Amazon or by just going to my website. One more time, it's waypastok.com. Thanks for liking and sharing and subscribing these videos. It means a lot. You got this.